Over $117,000 for this Grand Wagoneer. That is insane. Even the light is going crazy up here. And it's just crazy because you're gonna lose so much money on depreciation. I did some research, according to Kelly Blue Book, the average depreciation on a Grand Wagoneer is literally over $70,000 in five years. And honestly, from what I'm seeing, this thing is gonna sell for 50 grand in two years. So uh, what, $80,000 hit? And this is the problem is people were paying over MSRP just a few years ago and they were paying dealer markups and all this kind of stuff. So these dealers are really screwed right now. Let me explain why, because they're stuck in their used vehicles. People are stuck like Chuck, as I like to say, because literally you can't get out of it. These people are buried alive because they bought a car during the pandemic when prices were at the highest point and they probably went to a dealer that screwed them over as much as possible. In the finance box, they bought all the products that were not necessary. So on a car that's only worth 20K, they still owe $45,000 and they're screwed. Look at this one, 74,000, you guys have probably already seen it. 2023 Grand Cherokee, still on the lot. No one's even looking at it and it's been sitting here for years. No one wants it, it's that simple. The product is not what people want from Stellantis at all. And the prices have increased dramatically and you have all these people that are screwed in an equity situation. So how are they gonna sell more cars? Literally, their clientele base got screwed during 2021, 2022. As soon as Stellantis took over Dodge, Jeep and Ram, what did they do? They start increasing window stickers. That's literally one of the first things they did is start increasing the price, increasing the price. Let's look at this 1500 and see how much it is. And we're going to also look at this EV truck. And I'm going to show you how much that thing has lost in less than a year. Look at this. 63000 for a 2025 Ram, but you don't get a V8. And you can go to any competitor, General Motors, Ford, and get a V8 for that same price. So a lot of people are starting to shop around. But the people that really like the company, guess what? Even if you liked it and you loved it, if you got screwed over, you bought a car during the pandemic, most likely you, you probably didn't get a good deal unless you were extremely lucky or you were an extremely savvy buyer, you probably overpaid big time. And so you have all these people stuck like Chuck in their used vehicle because they owe way more than what it's worth. The dealership can only do so much. There's something called loan to value ratio. So the vehicle is worth 50K to the bank we can only roll over so much negative equity. We gotta try to find a vehicle that they're normally, we call them get me dones. People come in and just say, can you get me done on anything? I just need a vehicle. We gotta find a vehicle that has enough rebates so we can roll over all the negative equity. This thing is selling for, I think, yeah, $59,000. The original MSRP was over $80,000. They took a hit. This thing only has 8,000 miles and it's a 2024 Silverado EV. Think about that, $20,000 just from driving off the lot. Now, what do you expect when you buy an $80,000 vehicle? That's kind of reality, but it's even worse with EVs. And it's just crazy because people were paying markups just a few years ago. So these people that bought these used vehicles were screwed. And if you bought a used vehicle during the pandemic, that was when used car prices were crazy too. Some used cars were going more expensive than new cars. So if someone brought, bought this little Ford during 2022, 2020, even parts of 2023, they could have really, really got screwed and you can get stuck like Chuck. It's literally that easy. And they need the buyers who are interested. Generally, people don't have that much money. It's just a reality. Most people finance more than they should and they wanna buy a car when they probably, it's not a smart financial decision to buy a car but they decide to go ahead and get one. And those people can't do that anymore. Why? Because they're stuck like Chuck. You guys already know. Because they bought an Acura MDX during the pandemic, but they paid MSRP plus all the dealer add-ons and they bought a warranty and they bought all this extra stuff. Yeah, they might be able to get a little bit of money back from the warranty company, but still they owe 30,000 on an Acura MDX and it's only worth 21,000. So they have 9,000 and that's just so common. People are buried in these used cars and that's the biggest problem right now dealers are trying to face is one, obviously there's an inventory crisis. There's way too much inventory. So we're just, dealerships are loaded and their floor plans are becoming a huge issue, literally. 
stacking up every single month they have to pay an interest bill on all the cars you see millions of dollars worth in inventory the longer it sits the more they pay the second issue is people literally just being stuck not making a smart financial decision when this is my forerunner when i bought it i had to go to multiple dealerships it took me weeks to actually find one that i wanted that was four wheel drive and then i had to find a dealer that didn't have any bs markups didn't do any of this didn't do any of that it was a challenge but i ended up finding it but most buyers are not going to be that savvy and go through that much work to find it but right now i could sell this for more than i paid for it but it's also a forerunner and they're getting rid of the v6 so a lot of people are really there's some hype coming over to this car for sure but at the end of the day it's just making a smart decision what do you expect if you were to buy this Chrysler van, a Pacifica during uh, 2021, 2022, and you paid over MSRP, yeah, you're gonna lose your ass. It's the same deal with the Grand Wagoneer, with anything, you're gonna lose if you paid anywhere near MSRP. And the sad part is people were paying over MSRP, what? Just literally a few years ago. So it's pretty scary. Let me know what you think. Let me know how, literally, these people are stuck like Chuck, guys, but hey, let me know. What do you think? You think these dealers are going to be able to find their way out of it? Try to get people approved when you know they probably shouldn't be buying a car, but they just want to get some. They need to sell cars and they're trying any way they can to get someone approved. So let me know what you think. Have a good day.